Hey creative friends, here we are. We woke up in Elkhart, Indiana on April Fool's Day, which seems appropriate because I feel like it's supposed to be spring. But anyway, here we go. So <laughs> we're getting ready and it's like 7.30 in the morning. We're going to head out and go to the RV Museum, but this is just awesome to wake up in snow. I had to show you guys because I don't think anyone would believe it. Out there is the snow and we're going to go to the RV Museum. And RV is playing on the TV. I just thought that was kind of funny. All right, friends, here we are at the RV Hall of Fame and Museum. I'm super excited about this. This is cool. And look, the, rain, the snow, it's all melting off. It's beautiful and sunny. That should tell us how our day is going to go. So we're going to head into the RV and Motorhome Hall of Fame and Museum. I can't wait. Okay, this is how, look, it's nice and sunny and the snow is melting. This is awesome. Um, no wonder my sinuses are a mess. Like one day it's sunny and beautiful and then it's windy and hot and then it's snowing. I don't know. Anyway, this is how we calculate our trip, you guys. See, we just say like the next major city. We get directions. We figure out what time it is we'll be there. Heck, we'll be in Des Moines at 349. We could drive more than that. So we're going to figure out where we want to go from there. Because our next stop that we ultimately need to do is Kearney, Nebraska. So we can do the Archway Bridge. Kind of like this. It, yeah, it's so exciting. I can't wait to do that because that looks like... It's one of those historical things that takes you through the history of the area. And I love history. It's so fun. That's actually a really pretty bridge right there. Isn't that? All right. So we'll check in a little bit. All right. We just passed into Illinois. We're going to get through here and just keep going straight on I-80. That's pretty easy directions. But we're going to go to probably, what do we say, Stewart, Iowa? Stewart, Iowa tonight. I'm waiting for a call from a hotel because they weren't at the front desk, so they're supposed to call me back. So we're going to go to Stewart, Iowa, and then to Kearney, Nebraska. There's a couple things we want to do around Nebraska, which are going to be cool. That archway bridge and then something else. What was the other thing? Uh, golden spike. Oh, the Golden Spike. We've got to do that. In uh, North Platte. In North Platte, Nebraska. I like Nebraska. I like Nebraska and Kansas. I like all that stuff. Um, so we'll see. There's cool stuff out there. And then we've seen a number of things that we want to come back to do eventually. Uh, maybe with our fifth wheel, take a little trip, a road trip. But uh, that probably won't be until like August or September that we start doing that. Because we still have a cruise that was booked for 2020 that we're supposed to be able to go on in uh, June of this year. So once we get that done, we will then start doing some more road trips. Hey guys, okay, so now we're in going through another toll booth and to keep going down I-80. And I was thinking about this. When we do a little thing like I did the RV museum, what I'm going to do, so it's not like a super long, I know people don't like super long videos, so, so it's not a super long video. I will do a separate video. So I'm going to do a traveling video and then I will do, sorry, a video of, you know, whatever, whatever we went to. Like today was RV museum and then the, the archway museum. So those will be a separate video so you can kind of watch whichever one you want. So that's my new plan. And now through a toll, this guy hates tolls. I'm telling you, I know he just doesn't like well, it. Well, says 14 days to pay it. I don't remember doing it on the way up. So we're already in the lurch for... We're in the lurch for our tolls. Back from before. <laughs> Because it just takes a picture and sends you a bill, apparently, to wherever your license plate's registered. See, we don't have those out there either. <laughs> Water towers and toll roads. We don't got them. Anyway, so, um, yeah, if, if you got 14 days to pay it, then we're in, we're in a pickle. Because we haven't been there. We'll figure it out. Anyway, so, oh, there you go. Okay. Um, so, we'll, we'll see in a little bit. I didn't catch all of these, but these are like dish antennas all the way along this fence line. They're painted all different fun ways. That's kind of clever. All right, we just went over the Mississippi River. Pretty amazing. And here, we're in Iowa. Where's, where, isn't there a sign? There will be one. Okay, we're waiting for the sign into Iowa. Hey, creative friends, welcome to day four of our trip. We are in Stewart, Iowa. We are at the Country Kitchen having breakfast. Look at our breakfast. It's a buffet. It looks so good. Good morning, dear. Good morning. <laughs> We're going to head over to the Chevy dealer and get some DEF and put in our truck. 
Then we're going to head on down the way, and we're going to Kearney, Nebraska, where we're going to do the Archway Bridge. I'm so excited to take you guys along on that. And don't forget, those side trips are going to be separate videos. So you'll get day one and two, and day three and four, and then those are side trips for each of those uh, days. So let me eat my breakfast, and we'll be on the road. Okay, friends, we are on the road. We're so lucky. We need to get that stuff put in the truck. We could have done it, but it was easy to take it over to the Chevy dealer since they were open. And they just whipped out there and put that stuff in our truck that we needed, and we were on the road like in minutes, which was cool. But now here we are, and I wanted to point out, we're in the country area here where they have those big white windmills. Here they are. Ooh, they're creepy in the, in the fog. Look at them. I just think there's, I don't know, you can start seeing them. There they come. And we saw a bunch of them coming out here. And actually, I did a little research looking into them because I was fascinated by them. And they're pretty controversial, I think. Like, they're a good thing because they generate power. But then they're a bad thing because there's chemicals in them that lubricate them, apparently, that can be toxic. And the fiberglass blades, they don't know where to put them, you know, when they break or whatever. Anyway, last night when we came out of our hotel, there was this huge field just filled with these things. And Brian came in and said, you got to go look at that. I went out there and looked, and I was going to try to get a video, but it wouldn't do it at night. And they were all blinking a red light at the same time. Like thousands of red lights across the prairie going beep, beep, beep. It was so weird it's looking. Like close encounter of a yeah, time. it reminds me of that Tom Cruise movie, War of the Worlds. It was, it was cool. But anyway, there's those. And we're out here, and you know, this is my favorite view. The prairies with the farms and the silos. I love it. So we're going to spend the day doing that. I got a geocache this morning, so I've got one of the geocache state souvenirs for Iowa, which is fun. And um, I don't know if there's going to be anything super exciting down the road, but I'll check in with you and we'll see how the day goes. Hey friends, we are at a nice rest stop here in Iowa, letting Snickers take his little break and us take our little breaks. But I'll let you see where we're at. There we are. Pretty little rest stop. They really maintain nice rest stops out here. They're really quite nice. They got little picnic areas, some vending machines. Anyway, that's where we're at, and we're going to continue on to Kearney, Nebraska. Okay, we're coming through Council Bluffs, right? Look at the size of that flag. That is a big, big flag. I love it. Look at that. It was huge at Camping World. All right, we're heading to Omaha. Ooh, look at these bridges with the artsy stuff. Looks like Edward Scissorhands to me. Check it out. Please drive straight. That's cool. I like when they do stuff like that. It's very distracting when you're driving to look off at those things. Stay <laughs> left after one half mile and continue on I-80 West. All right, I-80. Heading to Omaha. All right, so I've told you guys on the way out here, I have this little thing on my Fitbit where I tell jokes. There's downtown Council Bluffs. Pretty cool. Huh? Yeah. Oh, there's Nebraska. Stay alive. Oh, Nebraska's coming up. Here we are. Taking a picture. I am. Doing a video. And taking a picture also. Woo! Um, yay! Oh, and see, remember? The train's up there. That's kind of a neat place. That's a park. I think there's a park up there with the trains. That's super cool. I'm excited to see that golden spike, too. That's going to be fun. But anyway, you know how I told you guys I have this little thing on my Fitbit that I get to tell Brian every day a joke. Bear left after one mile and continue on I-80 West. There we are. Today's joke is, what's the best time to look at a clock? I'm going to let you guys think about that for a second. If you want to pause the video while you think about it, go ahead and do that now. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you the answer. And it is... 6.30, hands down. That is hysterical. I love those stupid jokes. They're funny, though. All right, so we're going to go to Omaha, and then uh, we're going to look for a place to lunch somewhere down uh, around between Omaha and Kearney, Nebraska, where the Arch Bridge is, which will be our next fun stop. We're left after oh. seven miles and continue on I-80 West. Now we're heading to Lincoln, and I don't know if I told you on the way out here about Lincoln, but when I was 16, my dad worked for an oil company and he got transferred to England. Oh, someone lost the recliner. Um, anyway, he got transferred to England and I didn't want to go for the summer. I wanted to stay uh, with my sister who was 18 who didn't want to go at all. So they moved her up here to Lincoln from Houston because we had family nearby. 
she had an apartment and I got to spend the summer with her and it was one of my favorite summers we had so much fun she was 18 I was 16 and we worked at a village inn restaurant and they actually were building the new Lincoln uh, new village inn restaurant so we got to work in a one restaurant and then go over after hours and train all the waitresses and stuff for the new wet restaurant but it was such a fun time and um, that's like my fond memory of Lincoln Nebraska and village inn restaurant so that was fun but anyway now we're heading we haven't got to Omaha yet and then we're going to go to Lincoln, and it'll be all good. 80 West, all the way to, I don't know, all the way. For a while. For a while. Okay, friends, we stopped for the night. This is the hotel we're staying in. It's like a privately owned hotel, and it's called the Hospitality Inn in North Platte, Nebraska. And I got to tell you, we always try to stay at, like, privately owned places because we feel like it supports um, those independents. But that is the cleanest hotel I can I, we walked in the room and you could smell how clean it was and there was potato chips and some candies and waters there which are complimentary they've got an amazing breakfast I saw pictures we haven't had it yet but I'll show you if you want uh, but for dinner we came right over to this super cute place called Penny's Diner and it's like old 50s diner in there so that's what we're having for dinner and I will show you what it's like inside um, and then that'll be the end of day four so let's go inside and see what it's like Brian has a table and they cook it right there where you can watch and even the ceiling is like old 50s I love this place I'm super excited we just ordered burgers because why would you come to a diner other than to have an awesome burger I love this tabletop my mom used to have a table like this but it was like a turquoise color and she also had a set it was like an ashtray and a lighter set that was shaped like this that weird shape and it was um turquoise color and it went on the table with the lighter and the ashtray there back in the whew, early 60s i remember that it was really cool all right brian got his burger he's amazed how thick it is that's a nice thick burger fries i got no tomatoes he got all the stuff. This is so good. This place. Put you right there. Pretty amazing. All right, we'll check in with you when we get back to our room because it's really a nice room. I want to show you that. All right, we finished our burger and there we got apple pie a la mode with caramel drizzled on it. It's a good pie, isn't it, babe? Really good. It's all good. Yeah. Mmm. All right. I just had to show you the pie. It's so good. All right, there's Snickers in his room. He likes this room. I'll tell you what, it's very clean. It's old. It might be a little dated. It was only 90 bucks, but I'm going to tell you what, it is clean, like really clean, huh? Yep. And they give you, even when we got here, there was this package of these, and I went up and I said, what about the snacks? And they said, no, 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 those are complimentary. There was like an Almond Joy and a Snickers and four waters here. That's just for you to enjoy while you're here. And supposedly they have a terrific... Breakfast. So, there we have it. That's where we're at tonight. And we've got three or four more days, depending on us and, you know, weather and whatever. And then we'll be home. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.